And let's go ahead and get started with, you know what's coming? Our problem of the day. A long problem of the day here. Noelle needs her computer fixed. A lot of us could use that help. One company will charge a $25 fee plus $45 per hour, while another company charges a $10 fee plus $60 per hour. In how many hours will the cost be the same? Well, you know, we try to make an easy problem, I guess, with fall break, and I don't know how easy this one turns out to be, but let's just take a little bit of a look at it. Analyze what is it we're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out a number of hours. How long it's going to take for the cost to be the same. Now, there's some similarities here, so to speak, but uh, you notice here, the first company started out a little bit higher than the second company. But the first company has a lower per hour rate, while the second company charges more per hour. What we want to do is figure out when, how many hours is it going to take before they become one and the same. Now you say, well, what good is that? Because then you can really start to pick by the amount per hour that you're going to charge who you want to go with if you think your repair is going to last over a certain amount of time. So you get what's going on here? One is probably better than the other until you get to this break-even point, then it's going to shift. It's going to shift. So let's see what we've got going on here. First of all, in. How about it? For the number of hours. Why not? And then what we're going to worry about is you're getting $25 fee. Now, they're not charging you that every hour. They're charging that one time. So we're going to put 25 plus that 45 in. There's your first company right there. $25. Now we're going to pay $45 an hour from there on out immediately when they get on the, on the ground, right? So in other words, they're going to make that no matter how much they work but this will determine how much you're going to pay them also. Now, keep moving with me here. The other side, it says another company is going to charge a $10 fee plus, how about it, $60 an hour this time. So notice I put an equals here. Why? Because we're trying to figure out where they're going to be the same. In other words, when are those amounts going to equal? Now, the time's going to be equal also at that point, but we want to know when does the money break even there, all right? And then we'll talk about which one's the smarter thing for her to do. I think you'll have an idea pretty quickly. Now let's talk it. Let's work it through here. First of all, let's get our ends together. That's what we do on a problem like this. So we're going to subtract 60n from both sides. Now why? Because there was a plus, an addition here. So to get rid of a positive 60, we have to subtract it. And what just happened was, things got a little bit easier now, I think. Say goodbye to those 60 ends. You've got 25 minus 15 n on this side equaling to 10. Now, once again, when we, when we move things to the other side of the equation, we've got to put the opposite sign to them, all right? In other words, here we were hooked in by addition. We've got to remove it by subtraction. Got to remember that, all right? Now, where are we going? Ha, we're going to get rid of this 25. Now, I want you everybody to be careful. That 25 is positive. There is a minus on the 15 behind. Yes, there is, but that has nothing to do with 25. We're going to get rid of 25, so we're going to subtract. My friends, we're going to subtract from both sides. And that's going to give me something. Like I said, this is going to become a kind of a little strange problem, isn't it? It's going to be 15n equals, and by the way, it's a negative on that. And we get a negative 15 over here. Well, that one's pretty straightforward. It's going to be n equals to 1. You think so? 1 hour? Well, let's check and see. You had 25, and you're going to work 1 hour. That's going to be 45, so that's going to give you $70. Here, you've got 10, my goodness, plus 60. You get 70 also, don't you? So 1 is the magic moment where things become equal between your two companies. Now, if you're expecting that company to have to take more than an hour to fix your computer, it's really messed up, or it's not something that'll go, doom, 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 here's my software, we're done, all right, kind of thing, who's going to be better? 
Well, the one's going to be charging you only $45 an hour after you break even is going to be the way you go. Now, on the front end, on the front end, if you're going to be less than an hour, you're really looking at what? If, especially if they charge you by a quarter hour or half hour, and a lot of places will. They're not going to charge you a full hour if they don't work a full hour. Uh, and others, they will, even if they don't work a full hour. I know that works. You know that works. But what we're looking at, what happens then? Well, the one who's charging you $60 per hour, yes, the one who's charging $60 per hour, is doing your better deal because you only paid them 10 up front. You all don't break even until you get to a full hour. And then after that, this side wins. Before that, this side is the winner. So that's a pretty interesting, I say when I say a winner, that means to you, the consumer, you pay less, all right? So take a look at that, think about it. a little practical problem. So thank you for that problem of the day today. I'm glad it worked out at one because, you know, we hope our repairs don't last much longer than one hour, do we? Or before, but you know, it's gonna happen a lot of times. So that's what we do. Problem of the day, taken care of.